So uh, Tribe Called Quest is um, a real important group. Um, it's, you know, they, they started in the mid 80s, maybe 85, 86. Um, they are from Queens, um, Linden Boulevard, represent, represent, um, and consists of, you know, four members. First and foremost, you have to mention uh, Q-Tip. Q-Tip was the main producer. He made most of the music on, on at least their first three albums. He was the main MC, and he had that no, uh, nasally, uh, high-pitched, sort of iconic voice that, you know, is really hard to, to miss. Um, Fife Dog, MC Fife Dog, rest in peace. Uh, Fife, you know, he made some appearances on their first album, Pe People's Instinctive Travels uh, in the Paths of Rhythm. He made maybe like two vocal appearances on this album, um, but he came through and just blew it out the door on their second album, uh, a low end theory just came through and completely like ripped that album up um, vocally, which was pretty cool because it was, you know, that's when you really get that tribe sound. Um, I mean, you get a little bit of that here, but once you have Fife Dog come through on every track and him and Tip playing off each other, you also have Ali Shaheed Muhammad, who was their tour DJ? He was their DJ, but he's also, I believe, a bass player. So he helped Q-Tip um, with a lot of the, the beats and, and stuff like that. And then you have Jerobi. I don't think anybody knows what Jerobi ever did. I, I, I honestly have no clue what Jerobi ever did. Um, you know, he was a part of the group. He hung out with them. He, he was on stage sometimes. Um, it's hard to really tell, but on their, um, their most recent album, which came out, I don't know, 2015 or 2016, uh, and thank you for your service, he actually rhymes on it. He, he never rhymed on any Tribe albums uh, on the previous uh, five albums, and he, and he rhymes on this record. Um, and he's actually pretty dope, you know, so it's like, oh, what happened with him there? Um, but... You know, Tribe's really known for specifically their first three records. So uh, uh, People's Instinctive, Low End Theory, Midnight Marauders. It's really like Q-Tip's taste um, in, in jazz music, essentially, and, and other types of music, psych jazz, etc., on full display. Because he was really the one that was like finding the loops and stuff. And now, you know, someone who gets, doesn't get a lot of credit on Midnight Marauders, um, and uh, Low End Theory is Bob Power, who was an engineer, where they would they bring their records, and Bob was like the dude who made that low end sound. Um, you know, he took the the loops that that Tip had hooked up, and he, you know, basically engineered them to to give it that sound. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty much the early records are like Q Tip records with featuring um, you know uh, Fife Dog um, so much because because Q was just really so essential in all the, in all the beats and music. Um, but their early stuff, you know, their first three albums um, were really about, you know, um, youthful experiences, shit you go through in high school as a young person, just like the common kind of common stuff. I think that's why like so many people like me connected with this music, you know, even as like a, a, a white dude, right? Like where I didn't know anything about you know, Africa or Afrocentricity. I just didn't know about that stuff. Um, you know, I connected to the music because of like the, the things they were talking about in so many ways. I was like, okay, I, I get that. Like I have those feelings. So, so much about like just being young and the experiences of young people. They had a lot of like, again, playful lyrics, but a lot of them were inventive. Like they were more lyrical uh, than like maybe De La Soul. Um, specifically Fife. He was, Fife was like really a lyrical sort of, um, he had a lot of really dope lines. And, um, you know, they had a lot of songs about social awareness, social consciousness, um, you know, which is a lot of maybe where like, you know, Public Enemy was very, I don't want to say militant, but, you know, very, um, you know, black power, very sort of aggressive um, about their ideology. Tropical Quest had share a lot of those same politics, but the, they went about it 
and delivered it in, in a different way. So their consciousness was uh, delivered um, just in, in maybe a more digestible um, way for some, some people where it wasn't so in your face. Not to say it shouldn't be in your face, but, um, you know, uh, they just delivered it in just a, a, different, a different way. And they were really known for, like, art music videos, artsy music videos, um, specifically for that time where everything was, like, about, like, you know, um, you know, your goose jacket, Tim's, um, shot in like, you know, projects, you know, or whatever, um, you know, they were, they were having more fun with it, you know, and that, and, and, and more artsy stuff, um, you know, um, so we'll get into a little bit of Tribe Called Quest. 